Hi and welcome to this introduction video to how to use Kayla. Uh, with Kayla you can send requests and you can collect content from your collaborators, your different clients or team members that you have. So it's super easy and we're going to get started with where you land when you first create your account on Kayla. And so this is your projects dashboard. So at the moment we don't have any projects. But once you have some up and running, you'll be able to get an overview of all the projects you have going on. Uh, you'll be able to see who is involved and the progress. And so it's a really good place to just get an overview of what's going on. So to start with, I'm going to help you by seeing how you can create your first project. So we're going to click on this little plus sign here. And we're going to give a little bit of information about the project. So we're going to create the client name. So for example, okay. And then you write a project description if you want to. So I like to use this as a way to remember what the project was. If you want to have multiple projects for the same client. So I'm going to call this website. Okay, you can also add someone to your team. So if you already know people that are going to be involved editing this project with you and requesting things with you, then you can pick who that is by entering their email address. You can also decide if they're going to be a manager or a creative. A manager will be able to edit the project with you, send requests, approve files and reject files while a creative will be someone that can only access the, the finished approved files. So it's maybe someone that is working on the project but doesn't necessarily need to manage the project. So once you've done that, you'll just click Add and you can add as many people to your team as you want to. Once you're happy with the setup, you'll just click Create. Okay, so this is inside our very first project. So you'll see that we have the name of the project, uh, sorry, the client, uh, or the name of the project, and then what the project is. And so this is where you'll see all of your different requests. So this is the content that you're asking from other people. And this is me, and I'm set as the manager because I've created this project. And if you added anyone as a creative or as a manager, they will show up here. Uh, contributors are people that are going to submit the content that you're requesting and you can add people here as well if you change your mind later on. So the next thing we're going to do is create a request. So we just click the new request button and we have a really similar setup here. So you have your request title where you're asking for the type of content that you want. So maybe you want images for the website. You can set a due date, so perhaps I want it to be almost two weeks from now. And you'll be able to set a late reminder. A late reminder means that if your client or contributor forgets to send you the content, they will get an email saying, hey, you forgot to send this content, please do it now. And this is what we're asking for. So you can decide how often you want to set this reminder. So if they forget, they get once a week or they get once every two weeks. So it's just depending on how urgent the project is. You can also write a description of what you're requesting. So maybe they need a little bit more instruction for how to submit it or for what to submit. So for example, you could say, hey, we talked about these images for your website and uh, we want some for your about page and we want some for your home page, for example. Then you just add the email of the person who's going to send you the content and then you click create. So once you've sent your request, you'll see that it pops up here. You can see the due date, you can see that the status is requested and you can see who's contributing it. So in this case, I asked myself to contribute the content from a different email. So. Uh, you also see here it says requested, which means that right now there's nothing for you to do at this point. You just need to wait for the contributor to submit the content. And once it's submitted, you'll get a notification and here you can see that there will be a files for you to approve. You'll see here that this said requested before and now it says see files. So all you have to do is click on this and you'll see the submissions that the person that you asked to submit files have sent you. So you'll have a little yes or a little no button next to each of them. And you can also, if you have a lot of them, you can look through and just approve all of them or reject all of them at once. So you save yourself some time. 
Uh, so I'm going to have a look at this. I think this looks great. This one, maybe not. So that means I can write a message, maybe to direct and a little funny. Okay. So we can have a look at that. We can prove the rest of them and then just finish. So now that these files are approved, that means that they're gonna go into the My Files section. So we can head over there. And here is where you can access an overview of all of the files that are approved. So this is the interface that all of your creatives will have. So anyone who's not a manager on the project but need access to only the correct files. So let's go have a look at that. So here you'll see the files that you've approved, you can download them, and I think this is helpful, you can see uh, when they've been submitted. So these things are organized by request, so we only have one request, but then you'll get the, the different ones underneath, and you get the date that it was added. So if people have sent you things on multiple different days, you'll be able to see when someone sent something and which one is the latest version. The last thing we're going to look at is my account. So this is where you'll be able to change things like your avatar uh, and you'll be able to set notifications. So here you'll be able to say how often you want to get notifications around things like um, when you have things to approve or when projects are moving forward. Uh, so you can do a weekly, you can do a daily or you don't have to get any notifications. You can just log in and check it for yourself. You'll also see how much storage you have available and if you want to change this you can upgrade and if you find anything that you want us to know about you can just leave your feedback here. You can also enable two-factor authentication and you can change your password. So if you're anytime you're wanting to get a good overview you just go back to projects and you'll get all of your projects. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to see the different projects that you have organized in a different way. So right now all of these projects are things that we are ourselves creating but you can have one account where you have multiple roles. So maybe you are a manager in some projects, a contributor in other projects and a creative in some projects. So all of them will show up on your dashboard and you can sort them by your role. If a project is done and you don't want it to clutter up your dashboard but you don't quite want to delete it yet, you can go in here and you can archive the project. This will take it off of your dashboard but you can still see it in your archived section. There you go. You are also able to delete a project and you can also change the color of the cards and that will do the same for my files. There you go. So that was a little quick run through of how to use Kayla. We also have a Facebook community where you can ask questions and you have lots of places in the website to get in touch. So please let us know what you think and if you have any questions at all. Good luck. Mm -hmm.